This button and flip takes you to the arrangement page, and this is where you can structure your track. So I'll give you a really quick example. We have two patterns here. I'm gonna drag them to the right side here, and now when I play them back, They play back in that order, and if I want, I can add more patterns to the end, or you can even drag and insert stuff in between other patterns. If you press play on any pattern on the right, it'll start playing the order from there. Or if you press any pattern on the left, it will just loop that particular pattern. And if you choose another one, it'll change over on the next bar. This is also how you select which pattern you're editing on the other pages in Flip. So if you just tap it, you're gonna select it, it's gonna play and loop. Uh, or if you want, you can long tap on a pattern and then it'll be selected for editing, but it won't be playing. So blue highlight means playing, white outline means selected. Though most often you'll probably have them on the same one. If you wanna copy a pattern instead of starting from scratch, all you have to do is drag a pattern to an empty slot. And it can be any one, you know, if you have some kind of organizational system you wanna work with. If you wanna delete a pattern, just drag it over to this trash can here. And uh, if you drag patterns on the right to the trash can, it just removes them from the song order without actually deleting the pattern. And then the last thing on the arrangement page is this export button. And if you press that, you'll be given a choice of master or stems, and it'll spit out a WAV file of whatever is in in your song order, or if you choose stems, it'll be your song order, as well as an individual file of each sound channel playing through the pattern order.